congratulations are deciding to buy a home. But now what? If you're like 99.9% .9 of people, you're probably a little nervous, maybe a little confused and thinking, how much can I afford? Where do I start? How does all this process work? Hello, I'm Joseph Bradley with eXp Realty. In this video, I want to briefly summarize the process from start to finish to know exactly what to expect. As a home buyer, you want to arm yourself with as much information as possible so that a good deal comes up, you can jump right on it. Good deals go by fast and you won't have time to do research later. So we're going to walk you through nine basic steps of buying a home. Number one, you want to pick a real estate professional. Remember, this is someone you trust with millions of dollars. So you want to make sure you feel comfortable with them because this person represent you the way you want to be represented. This person needs to be knowledgeable and understanding of not only your needs, but the market and the ability to be able to quickly adjust to what you're looking at. You want to make sure that this person is on your side, looking out for your best interest. The second thing you want to do is pick a lender. A good lender is going to map out the numbers so you can search for a home that best fits your budget. Step number three is get approved. This is where you're working with your lender, to, with your financials, to be able to determine your ability to afford this home. He's going to help determine your budget and how much you can afford to buy this new home. And once you're pre-approved, you will have a number that you're qualified for. And this will allow you to move on to step number four. This is determining your wants and needs. This is where we'll go through and you and I will sit down and go over through what are your wants, what are your needs, what are your likes and dislikes. By doing these steps, this will help determine what type of home, where this home is located and what best suits your needs. So that way we're going out there, we're not wasting time viewing home that you don't qualify for outside your area. But most importantly, when these homes go fast, you already know what you want, where you want, and how we're gonna do it. Now that we've listed out all what you want, it's now time to move on to step number five. We're gonna shop for a home. This is where we go out and start looking at homes that fit your needs. Once we go looking for a home, we never know how long this will take. This is very important because we're looking at a home that best suits your needs, that fit that list you made. This can take one to three weeks. This could even take three to five years. It all depends on what your wants and needs are. And once we determine and find that right home is when we move on to step number six. Step number six is submit an offer. This is where we take everything we've done so far. We work with the lender, work with everyone and put an offer together to present to the seller. So once we've submitted an offer, there might be some time where we're negotiating terms, price, or other factors that we didn't realize. But once the offer is accepted, this is where we move on to step number seven. Step number seven is the time we go through this home and do our due diligence to ensure the home is safe and ready for you to move in. While we are doing step number seven and doing our due diligence, this is where step number eight comes in. This is where the lender will order appraisal on the home to verify the value of the home that we just submitted an offer. Once the appraisal is ordered, this is where your lender will be doing all kinds of things behind scenes that you probably will not see. They're gathering all the documentation, all the stuff that they need to be able to close and fund this loan for you, which moves us on to step number nine. Step number nine is usually the fun part. This is where we call close of escrow. This is where the home becomes yours and you get ready to move in. And at closing, this is where we sign our final documentation. This is where we'll go over everything that we've talked about, all of our agreements, and we look for it and it becomes final at this point. This is where you notarize the documents and now you become a homeowner. Well, this may not seem like a whole lot. There are a tremendous amount to do during each and every step. And I'll break them down one by one as we go through our meeting. When you meet with me, we'll map everything out, lay everything out so you understand it and we do the timelines you feel comfortable with. So I hope this video helped you understand and lay out some of our roadmap to buying a home. If you found this video helpful or you want some additional information, please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Joseph Bradley, eXp Realty.